everyone, Toysius here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today we're totally checking out a few new Masters of the Universe from Mattel's He-Man Origins line, Wave 2 and Wave 3, respectively. A lot of new Wave 3 figures hitting, which we've already taken a look at, but we got She-Ra, Orko from Wave 2, he's the Heroic Court Magician, and then man he faces heroic human robots, monster, whatever you want to do. But Orko, I definitely do remember. I even have an Orko somewhere. He's like a spinny top kind of thing. He's somewhere in the old collection bin, something or other. But gorgeous artwork, as always, by Axel Jimenez. And, of course, Roy Juarez doing the packaging. Here's the barcode and such. We'll talk about this wave in just a second. Also, man he faces I don't know much about this guy. Apparently, he's a actor. So he kind of reminds me of Clayface from the new Harley Quinn kind of thing. That's just off the top of my head of what I could relate him to from what I've seen recently. But I like that you can turn his head. That's very old school 80s Ghostbusters He-Man. That's very cool. Here's the barcode as well. And then She-Ra, who is actually showing up for Wave 3 at Target stores now. She is the Princess of Power, He-Man's sister, new for 2021. You can find her on store shelves now, along with the rest of the wave. I have not seen them personally, so this came from Target.com. Love the artwork on this, and I really like seeing this Hordak guy. That I know he's coming later on in another wave, four or something, five, something like that. But this is very cool to see. I still got to get Roboto, Roboto, who cares what his name is, Merman and... Zodak. Now, as I've said before, with He-Man figures, I'm here just for fun. I'm not the huge He-Man fan that you're expecting. I'm the one that goes, what am I looking at? Look at the colors. This is fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new She-Ra, Manny Faces, and Orko from Mattel's He-Man Origins. Origins. And of course, here they all are out of the packaging on my little spinny rotation thing. If you get a little, little look at each of the figures really nicely. But these these are fun. These are exactly what you're supposed to get in a nice, colorful, fun toy, especially for kids. Now, I understand this is more for the adult collector, we'll just say. But this is something that kids can really get into and gravitate towards. At $15 a pop, it's... The borderline expensive, but they're pretty sturdy toys, and I think that giving them to kids would be okay. I don't think they're really going to break them unless they're thrown around outside, much like we used to do, right? But those toys, for the most part, still held up. There's just no rubber bands in the joints anymore. Thank God, but it's funny to see She-Ra, right? A female figure. And this line is really not skipping on the female figures, which we'll take a comparison look coming up later in this video. Now, with like all the waves, Wave 2 does come with the Double Trouble comic book. I have taken a look at this when I talked about Scareglow. He showed up last Halloween from Walmart. Shows up all the different characters from that wave. And then, of course, Wave 3 now has Dimensional Doom which is totally bat poop crazy. Skeletor disrupts time and space. You get to see all the characters from the wave. Awesome, right? Love what they do. That, a lot of stuff happens, and then Hordak shows up at the end. Sorry, spoilers. All the characters here that you could grab, again, showing up at Targets now. And let's start with Orko. Now, he is a very cool, very bright, very colorful character. He's the wizard. I know all about this guy. But he comes with this nice base. Just be careful. Once the clear plastic peg is in there, you can't really pull it out. You'll have to heat it up. You don't want to snap anything. But it's got rotation at the base and at the top towards the part, which inserts into Orko's base body as well. But he's got great articulation on him. He does all kinds of the magical hands sort of deal. The head rotates. Not a whole lot going on with Arco, but it, it works, right? I do like it. The base right there pops into there to get the stand going. He needed some magical effects. That's something that's definitely missing from this character. But like I said, he nicely rotates. You could get him in a kind of you know, floating positions, put him with your characters. He, man, yada, yada. He looks cool. Definitely a must-have figure. Man, he faces this guy. is totally rad. This is the first time I've ever had... A man he faces. I like the colors on him. I like the blues, the reds, everything about this guy. He's just stellar. And he's got the same type of articulation that you know and love with the He-Man origin. Spins at the elbows. Got a nice orange gun. A lot of detail on it, but it's just a solid orange plastic. Spins at the wrist. Kicks out. Spins at the knees. Has knees. Just be careful right here. 
it's just impeded a little bit in the ankle rocker because of the boot cuffs that goes around the foot. Other than that, he does have some paint imperfections. It's probably just mine. It will vary at some point. But the real magic is spinning the head to reveal all the different creatures that he is. He's a robot. He's a green monster. You can go back to, like, humanoid man. And you can rotate it either which way, which is good. A lot of times the toys I always remember back in the 80s. It only spun one way, and then you get the... And then it was broken, like, two seconds later. So kids have at it. You can spin it any which way that you want. Really dig Manny Faces. And then finally, She-Ra, which is a really cool character. Now, a lot of times you look at this and be like, wow, that's a that's a girl's action figure right there. So what? Who cares? It's 2021 at this point. She comes with a shield. She comes with her sword. She comes with sparkly things. It's like a sticker on top of the plastic. It works for what it is. She's got a really nice face. She looks like a warrior, like Wonder Woman type style. She's an attractive face on her, but she's also kind of burly. She's not too, like, overly cutesy feminine this chick looks like she's gonna beat you up so that's kind of cool she's got this really nice cape on her the hair is all one solid plastic piece which is a bummer i think it's fucking bull because you can't even comb the hair what are you doing over there patel <laughs> she has knees she's kind of got wonky knees all the females gotta have the wonky knees that's one thing it looks like little flaps she's got really tiny feet but she's got a lot of rotation in them she stands well despite the feet she's got waist rotation the head will barely move just because of the hair in the back but the clock goods adds to it kind of wish they had done the hair just to be you know kind of over encompassing but hey it is what it is and they all look good together with previous he-man origins figures very bright very colorful fun simple doesn't need washes doesn't need an abundance of accessories but certain accessories would have been nice orko looks great with he-man you know floating there just screwing everything up for the day that he's done something wrong or he will eventually do something wrong. She-Ra looks good with He-Man. I like that. I do think she looks better without the goofy crown. I will tell you this. You can see her face better. She can ride on top of Battle Cat. I do like that all the figures and vehicles are compatible with one another, so you're not going to really run into a situation where you're like, oh, why can't I fit this character on that? All the females look good together. Again, it's nice that they're not skimping on the girls. It's nice to see them, even though it was maybe one per wave or something like that. Hey, back in the day, the girl figures were always the hardest ones to find. So really, that's going to wrap it up for my look at these three new figures from Wave 2 and Wave 3. Just as a heads up, as I have no real way to tell you, and I don't deal with, oh, you know, through the telephone while, or, you know, here's a made-up thing. I will tell you this, from what I've kind of seen and heard, I would say if you can find Wave 2 at retail price now, get them now. Because it may be a while before these ever hit store shelves. They kind of sort of hit Walmart at some point last year. But as far as hitting targets, it is kind of up in the air. So if you can get them for a good price, ideally retail, don't go overboard. They will eventually, I'm sure, re-release them. In either case, I'm curious to know what you guys think about these figures. I think they're great. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything He-Man origins. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember the fact that Manny Faces is an actor. Is... That's why He-Man's bat poop crazy to me. Like, what? What, am, what is it? What is he? He's a warrior actor? Come on. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.